Welcome to our lecture online. In this video, we'll take a look at the ungrouped frequency distribution. What does that mean, ungrouped frequency distribution? Well, it means that for each data type, you have a specific frequency. For example, what we did last time, we found out the number of A's, B's, C's, D's, and F's we had in our classroom on the test. We had a total of 25 data points, 25 letter grades. And so the frequency for each can then be tallied as follows. So we have four A's, we have seven B's, we have eight C's, three D's, and three F's. So these are the frequencies of occurrence for each of the data types. In this case, the data types are letter grades, and we didn't have to group them together. This is what we call ungrouped. We have a one-to-one -one correspondence between data type and frequency, data type and frequency, data type and frequency. We didn't have to group things together to make up a specific data type. So we're going to take a look at the next type, which is the grouped frequency distribution to see how that compares to what we have over here. Here, it's simply a specific data type with a specific frequency of occurrence associated with it. And that's what we mean by the frequency distribution when they're ungrouped.